Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and thank you for tuning in for part two of my series, Self-Expression Secrets to Attracting Women. Part two today is all about owning the feminine part of yourself. So many guys get into the community and they're constantly telling themselves that, you know, I gotta be masculine. I have to go up to the girl, be direct, be able to uh, draw her in with my presence. I have to, you know, stand strong when she's giving me tests. And all these are particularly correct, you're right. But at the same time, if you're always following structure, you stifle yourself from expressing the true parts of you, who you are. And I see this with guys when I'm watching pickup videos or when I see students, is that they're always trying to take on this masculine role. The role of being the one that's the observer. That's all the masculine mean. The masculine means the observer. So, when a woman is giving you every kind of test, when she's putting pressure on you, when she's holding onto your pressure, all of this is because you are taking on the role of the observer. Now, what's on the flip side? The flip side is what I really want to talk about. The flip side is the part of yourself that's feminine. The, par the part of yourself that's not the observer is feminine. Expression. Uh, you showing the softness that's in you. These are all things that are uh, of the feminine and they exist inside of you. So, when you're out there and you're speaking to women and you're always focusing on, okay, I must go up to the girl and I have to say, you know, this thing and, and I must get into conversation and then I must to get a connection and then from there I must let her know that I, what I feel about her and then after that, you know, get the number and set up the day. Yes, that's all important. But at some point, you must be willing to be spontaneous and flow. And the reason why I say this is because when you're spontaneous and flow sometimes, you give the woman a chance to be the observer. You give her the chance to take on the masculine in that moment and then be drawn to the feminine parts of you. When the moments you're expressing yourself to a woman, whether it be from your heart, with anything that you feel, I really want you to understand that in that moment, it's not like she is like, oh my God, this is a guy that's soft. This is a guy who, you know, he needs to get his shit together and, you know, be a man. It's not that. She's loving that part of you because she's experiencing both levels of you. In that moment where you are expressing yourself, if she doesn't take on the masculine role in that moment, then you two will be like best friends in that moment. It will, it'll just be like that because the feminine and the feminine together makes a stronger feminine. With that being said, I want you to go out there and express the parts of yourself that you truly want to express. Like if I'm in there with a the girl, I'm not trying to just follow the structure. I'm allowing whatever to come out of me in the moment to just be a spontaneous flow of what I'm feeling in the moment. There's some girls I speak to where I tell them immediately, like, yeah, I'm all romantic. That's the reason why I'm able to say things like this. You know, I love uh, affection. I love being there with a the woman and looking her in the eyes and being able to not say anything and allowing the parts of herself to come to the surface that she's hiding. All these things, you know, and me saying that, it's not like these are masculine, you know, really uh, observer things. They're not. They're all about feeling, flowing, being there with the girl allowing her to experience me. She wants to experience all the parts of you. If you think she's only gonna experience all of you by you only being masculine, then you are really, really fucking yourself over. You are. Because what makes you a whole person is expressing both, par both parts of yourself. So, because a lot of men, they go up and they're only expressing the feminine part. So then the girl's like, okay, he could be like a best friend. So she friends on him. Then a lot of guys go up and then he's so rigid that the girl's like, I can't have fun with this guy. But when she meets a man that is both sides, which is the masculine and the feminine, so to speak, or the observer and the filler, she's able to really let go and understand that, okay, this guy is a full rounded man. And that's what you wanna be in front of one of them. You wanna be full and rounded and allow her to see the insight into who you are by own owning the feminine parts of yourself. Every part of yourself that is feminine is all the parts that have gotta do with feelings, energy, all these things. And these are the parts of you that are really attractive that you're not currently interacting and showing women. So, the next girls you go talk to, really focus on, yes, you must be the observer, which I'll talk about in the next video. But at the same time, allow yourself to be spontaneous and flow from within. Bodily, uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, be a flow and allow yourself to uh, really be so to speak, a blossoming flower. That sounds gay, yes it does, but at the same time, you need to understand that the parts of you that are attractive is the feminine and the masculine. And when you bring both of them together, what a powerful mix as a man. 
So this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyle saying that I love you, go out there and express the parts of yourself that you would call girly or you would call feminine or you would call gay. Go express the parts of yourself and you will find out that there are many things lying inside of you that you have to offer women that you're not currently showing. Until next time, stay tuned for part three, which is all about the observer, which is the master. Peace.